So we are doing a fun experiment with Brian and Patty <laughs> and many onlookers. <laughs> we are experiencing the myofascial effects of ground substance as a colloidal tissue, which will all be explained by Brian here using <laughs> cornstarch. And water. And water. Do you want to tell us what's going on here, Brian? Okay, cornstarch is a polysaccharide, and most of the ground substance is polysaccharides and oligosaccharides, basically long chains of carbohydrates that bond to each other. And this is a great model for the ground substance because it demonstrates the slower you go in, the more the tissue yields, or the ground substance yields. Yet if you try to move quickly, it doesn't come out as easily. So you can go into the bowl fast and it's solid, or you can go in slowly and you sink all the way down. Ground substance, when it's fluid, pours. When it's not, it's solid, and then it turns into fluid. Now this is heat independent. It's all about how fast you move. And with the right consistency, you can slap it. Ready for the slap? Oh, no, no slap. Brilliant. Now, you know the old up ledger, five grams of pressure about the weight of a nickel? It'll bounce. <laughs> and then it'll sink slowly into the tissue. Again, demonstrating it's more the speed of the movement than the force. So, Brian, could you then um, briefly describe how the application of that is relevant to the applications of myofascial release for a myofascial release therapist? It's everything that John says is sinking slowly into the tissue, engaging the barrier, and when you come to the barrier, you sit there and wait and wait for it to melt. And this is in contrast to traditional massage and other myofascial release techniques that are doing what Brian and Patty are doing with their hands there. J-stroking, tissue doesn't give, you can rip the tissue, deep tissue massage. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and I can massage that all I want, and the more I massage it, the harder it gets. The harder it gets. And I stop, it becomes liquid. It's brilliant. So it's not so much about the deep application of force, but it's the time that you take in applying that force. Is that right? It's how slowly you move in. It's not, it's not as much about... The depth is still important because you have to engage the barrier. You have to go to the solid point. If you sit on the surface, we're not engaging anything that's below it either. Yep. So you do have to go in and then rebounding. You can see how it snags on the tissues, the ridges of the lid, which would be snagging over fascial restrictions. And collagen fibers all originate from the ground substance. It's actually a solidification of the ground substance. The same cells that produce the ground substance produce collagen fibers. So it's really more about softening the ground substance. These are principles that John Barnes has been trying to teach therapists for 40 years. It and this, go on. It doesn't matter whether you're doing compression or distraction. Mm -hmm. Compressing into the joint or mobilizing the joint. This would be a representation of the actual collagen fibers in the ground substance. If we try to move it quickly, it rips. If we can move it slowly, now because Michelle and I co-treat, and that's really what our center is about, look at what happens when one person does a cross-hand release bunches up the tissue. Watch what happens when two people do it. It really opens up the tissue. 
So the more that you can access the system and tissue from multiple directions, the more releases you bring it throughout the body. And like fascia continues through the body, ground substance is even more continuous throughout the body. Something you're doing over here, you can clearly see, affects further down. See how the, it doesn't flow around the nickel. It doesn't stretch around the nickel. Anything else? Any closing words on that? <coughs> Quarter cup of cornstarch and a cup of water. So, how do you do this experiment, Brian? Quarter cup of cornstarch and a cup of water, approximately, and then just play with it until you get the consistency you want. And Brian and Michelle are, could you say your website and the name of your business, Brian? Jersey Shore Myofascia Release Center, www.jerseyshoremfr.com. Thank you, Michelle.